from this to this. Go to your settings and in the graphics tab make sure you are at 60 fps and at least medium on your graphics quality otherwise you won't see much improvement with the sharpness of textures i have everything set on high because my hardware can handle it but you will see improvement with any graphics settings that are medium or higher next thing is optional in the controls tab you can increase the default distance camera setting this will give you bigger field of view while walking around. With all these settings you will get this. But we want this. And for that we will use the NVIDIA or AMD color filters. Good place to set up the filters is here. So let's get over there and position your character so he is facing the city. Now we have the grass for close details and the city wall for smaller details. To access the filters we will be using the NVIDIA GeForce Experience or the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. If you don't have the software for your graphics card you can download it from the official websites. For the AMD go to the Create tab then inside the Application tab select Engine Impact. If you are using multiple monitors select your main one and enable custom colors. Nvidia users try pressing Alt plus Z. If you don't get this overlay open the GeForce experience, go to the settings and enable in-game overlay. With that out of the way make sure you do the setting during in-game daytime. Press Alt plus F3 to access the Nvidia filters and these are the filters we will be using. AMD users will have to do it inside the program. So let's start with the empty slot and add the sharpen plus color and brightness slash contrast filters. And on top of that add the split screen filter. If you have your own filter settings share them in the comments below. In the split screen filter enable the split and compare feature. Then select the sharpen plus. Set the texture details to 100% and intensity to 80%. Then try to move the sliders to see if on your monitor some other percentage looks better. Because this will look slightly different based on your monitor size, resolution or your PPI. For the color filter, tint color and intensity are 0%, temperature is negative 15 and vibrance is 26. And for the brightness slash contrast, set exposure to negative 10%, contrast to 15%, highlights and shadows to 31% and gamma to 0. Now turn the split and compare off and try playing around like this for a bit to see if everything looks fine. If you are fine with these settings and don't want to change anything, simply open the menu and delete the split screen filter. And that's it, like and subscribe and see you in the next video.